Welcome to Leco. Not to forget subscribing, please. Leco is a large town on the southeastern end of Lake Como in Lombardy, a region in northwest Italy. Surrounded by tall mountains, Leco is very picturesque and makes for a perfect start for mountaineering expeditions, but is not as popular as Como at the other end of the lake, which makes it quieter. It is in Lecco that the river Adda flows out of the Lake Como, flowing further south through Lombardy, including Lodi, to join the river Po near Cremona. Many of the artifacts in the city belonged once to the affluent Lombardy and Manzoni family. Its most famous son, Alessandro Manzoni, immortalized the town in his novel The Betrothed. Despite its picturesque location, Lecco's economy for centuries been dependent on industry, not tourism. In particular, Lecco has been a major iron working center, with various companies owned by the Bodoni family leading the way, manufacturing railway locomotives, and constructing bridges around the world. Lecco is a railway hub within the Trenad network, so getting in by train is quite a natural choice. There are five railway lines that radiate out of Lecco. The closest airports to Lecco are those of Bergamo a Rio Ulcerios and Milano Lin 8, both around 40 to 50 minutes from Lecco by road or rail, traveling by rail requires changing from local transportation from the airport to the main train station. The former is served by low fare and holiday carriers from destinations all over Europe, while the latter has business-oriented connections from major European hubs served mostly by flag carriers. Intercontinental flights to Lombardy, and more low fare and full service flights from Europe arrive at Milano Malpensa Airport. Traveling from Malpensa on public transportation, you need to travel to Milan first and then continue to Lecco from there. By car, the journey is around one hour in theory, but in practice, you need to go through the busier eight and a four autostradas that are frequently clogged and require tolls. The city centre is situated at walking distance from the main railway station, and it's also a pedestrian zone, so walking is the best option. The lakefront walk, which runs approx from the city centre to the hamlet of Pescarenico, is also a pedestrian zone. A ferry line connects the town with the village of Bellagio, making a few stops on the way. Major attractions are Basilica di San Niccolo, 96 meters tall, near the lakeshore, and by far the most characteristic landmark in town, and can be seen from far away. It was erected in the 8th century, and has undergone numerous reconstructions. Palazzo Belgio Gioso, houses the Museum of Natural History, the Archaeological Museum, and the Civic Planetarium. Civic Planetarium, Palazzo Belgio Ioso. Palazzo del Por. Built in 1905 in eclectic neo medieval style as a tax office. It hosts a collection of modern art and temporary exhibitions. Closed on Monday, except on Monday after Easter. Torre Viscontia. Open only during temporary exhibitions. This big tower is the only remnant of former fortifications. Ponte di Azone Visconti. A bridge built by Azone Visconti between 1336 and 1338 on the River Adda. Santuario di Nostra Signora della Vittoria, via Azone Visconti. A massive church built in 1932 in memory of the fallen of the Great War. Villa Manzoni. Dedicated to Alessandro Manzoni, an Italian poet and novelist. The villa hosts Museo Manzoniano and Galleria Comunale di Arte. Archaeological Museum of Barrow. Nature, Archaeology and History Museum. Moto Guzzi Museum. Museum with over 150 motorbikes. Hiking is a popular sport in Lecco, as the city is literally surrounded by mountains. 
You can choose one of the many mountains that surround the city, like the Resegani which means Big Saw, for its jagged shape or the Grigna for a beautiful trip. Leko Mountains offer well-maintained paths and many mountain huts to provide a base for your journeys. Usually at mountain huts you can find food, beverages, restrooms and accommodations if you plan an overnight journey. As there are many paths to choose from, and they can vary from easiest ones to the most strenuous, it's better to get a map and plan your trip in advance. The tourist office can help you to plan your trip. Unfortunately, there are not many places which can be reached by a public transport, here is one of them. Cableway Leko. Piani Diana is a locality up the mountain above the city. If you don't like to walk you can enjoy the stunning view of the lake and the surrounding peaks, rest on the grass, or just stroll around relaxing. If you are a hiker, from Piani Diana you can find many beautiful paths to the Resegani, to Piani Di Bobbio, and other destinations. Schedule and prices for the cable car can be found here and bus timetable for bus number 5 are here. The bus tickets must be bought in advance. There is a newspaper kiosk in the train station. Thanks for watching, let's go sightseeing.